This is a portable power station that has a unique feature that I have never seen in any power station before, and that is that it has hot swappable batteries. It has a number of other features as well, so I want to go over the Run Hood Rally power station in case this is something you're interested in getting. Now, full disclosure, the company did send this to me for review, but everything in this video is my own opinion. So this portable battery unit has all of the normal outputs that you would expect, plus a few bonuses. It's got two AC outputs here, a whole array of DC outputs, to USB-C at 100 watt power delivery and this one up here can take input as well. It's got some 12 volt barrel ports and your typical car 12 volt port. Now all these inputs and outputs are on the front. There's nothing on the sides or the back. On the back it does have that unique feature that I mentioned, the hot swappable batteries. So let me explain how that works because I think that's the coolest feature of this run hood power station. So it has two slots here and if you push the button you can remove these uh, battery banks. So you can, ha you can see here there's a power button on the top to show you the state of charge with the little LED lights. There is a handle here on this side and then on this side there's a little connector and that connector is important because not only does it connect in down in here to connect to the run hood, the main device, they also sell add-ons so you can add on an AC outlet you can add on DC outlets with this thing and check this out. So you just connect this on and you have an extra power bank, you know, that's independent of the main unit. And so you can charge these things, obviously discharge them uh, independent of the main unit. So it's just great. So if you don't want to take this whole thing with you traveling, you can take this with you in the car and even put this in your backpack and each one of these power bricks is 324 watt hours. So when you have two of these together in the main unit, you're talking uh, over 600 watt hours, and then you can just continue to get as many of these as you want to increase your storage uh, capacity. So right here I have four of these power bricks which totals up to 1296 watt hours. I'll show you these accessories a little bit later but I want to explain how the hot swappable feature works on this. I don't know if you're paying attention to the state of charge here in the front but it had a lower number than the 61% that it says right now and that is because I took one of the batteries out. So there's only one battery in here so this state of charge of 61% is only this battery itself. But if I take this one, for example, and it has three dots out of five, so I'm not exactly sure I can do the math that quickly, but let's stick this in here. And when it connects, I'll show you the front screen. Watch the state of charge when it connects. See, it just went to 54%. And so it's 54% when it looks at both of those batteries combined. Uh, and so that you're having that 648 watt hours of storage and it's saying you have about 54% of that capacity available to you. I have an AC load plugged in right now on the inverter and you can see on the screen it is outputting 194 watts of power and you can see the state of charge with both power bricks in there is at 54%. So let me take one of them out and see what happens. I just disconnected one of them you can see the AC inverter didn't skip a beat. It's still uh, running this load, but the state of charge changed to reflect the power that was left in that one power bank. Now in the back, let me do this without pulling out my cords. If I flip this around, you can see it's missing one battery. Here's the battery I took out. And so say, for example, I was charging this battery in another uh, location, another outlet, or maybe even charging it by solar panels outside. What I can do is I can plug this one in while it's running. I won't connect it till, uh, so you can see the screen here. So let's flip it around. And I'm going to connect it in here, three, two, one. Now it's connected in. Look at that. The state of charge went up to 75%. The AC inverter continued to run, and now I have uh, more capacity in the whole unit. Okay, so now let's make the hot swappable feature complete, and I'll take out the original battery. I'll flip it around again. You can see it's still outputting the AC output, the 194, 95 watts. 
the state of charge went up to reflect that new power bank that I put in and the output was not affected. So that's really awesome that it has this hot swappable feature. So Runhood officially calls these energy bars and I had asked, how does it handle energy bars inside of the main unit when they're at different states of charge, when there's a load on the unit or when they're charging? And what they explained to me is that when they are at different states of charge, it will draw from the battery with the higher state of charge first when there is a load on the unit. And when you're charging, it will prioritize the one with the lower state of charge to bring it into balance with the other one, and then we'll charge both simultaneously. In terms of charging the main unit, there are four ways to do that. The first is with the wall AC adapter. This is included, and you can see I have it plugged in and charging right now. It comes with this carrying case, and inside of here are a, another cable. This is the 12 volt car port, so you can plug this in uh, to your car and charge it up that way. This is included, and then also included, this is the third way to charge, is with solar panels. So this is an MC4 connector, very standard uh, with solar panels, and then it goes to this connector, which in, plugs in right here. And then the fourth way to charge it is through the USB-C port right here, and so you need your own USB-C cable to do that, but you probably have one laying around somewhere, and you can charge right here up to 100 watts. Now another thing that's cool with this unit is that you can charge through the USB port and through this main input here at the same time. So if you want to get the maximum input rate, you'll use both of those inputs. The Rally works great with solar panels. Here I have it hooked up to a 100 watt panel, but it can handle up to 200 watts of solar input. Runhood has done a great job to think about how to make this system as versatile as possible. So not only can you charge and discharge the energy bars with the main unit, if you just have them by yourself, you can charge and discharge. So if you have this add-on here where you clip it on, not only do you get USB-A outputs and USB-C outputs at 100 watt power delivery, which is amazing, you can also charge at 100 watts of, of input. So you can get your power brick that you have maybe for your computer, your 100 watt USB-C cable, and then you could charge this up separately. And another addition to their system is this device. They call it the SC200. This is a separate purchase, but it has their standard plug on the outside. So you can plug in solar panels or the wall charger uh, or your 12 volt car port. And on the other end are two connectors that match up to the energy bars themselves, so it fits right on here. So what this enables you to do is you can charge these energy bars independently with solar panels or any other input. So let's talk about some of the output features of the Rally system. Over here on the main unit, you have two AC outputs. These can do 600 watts of continuous output with a 1200 watt surge. So if you have a compressor or something that needs that brief surge of power up to 1200 watts, then this can handle that. And of note over here are the two power delivery ports at 100 watts each. So that's very nice to have so much power available through those USB-C ports. You also have your two quick charge USB-A ports, those barrel ports, and this standard 12 volt car port. And if you pick up this AC inverter that works with the energy bar here, you'll get 80 watts of AC power. So I have it plugged in here. Let me turn on a, a light. You see I have this light running off of this energy bar. A few other things to point out about the front of the Rally that's pretty neat. It has a very nice looking screen. I have it charging currently. So you can see the little animation here with the 76% state of charge. Here you can see the output wattages and the input wattages, how much time it'll take to reach to 100%. And then down here, there's little icons to show how many energy bars are currently connected inside the Rally. So you can see there's a number one and a number two. So both energy bars are in there. And on the top here, there is an LED light. If you need it in the dark, it starts off high, has a low setting, and has an SOS feature. So some of the things I want to say about this unit, again, is their level of detail. The build quality is excellent. Personally, I like the orange color. That's one of my favorite colors. Uh, but their attention to detail, just look at the front here. The, uh, the grill where the air goes in for cooling, it, they make it aesthetically look very nice. And even this cover here, this 12-volt port cover, has a texture to it. So they're thinking about the aesthetics, how it looks. Uh, the, the, the rubber feet on the bottom are very nice and padded and the handle and the build quality all around are excellent. I also like how these batteries slide in and out. They're not gonna fall out accidentally and you can get your fingers in here. You just push this open button and then they slide out. And when you go to put them back in, you don't have to put a ton of force and you hear the click and you know that it's in there. And you can also look on the front to see if the you know the battery if it's recognizing if that energy bar is in there and in the back here if you happen to have one or both batteries out the unit comes with two dust covers 
to cover up these holes when they're not in use. So they even thought about that. So overall, what do I think about the Rally? I'm honestly surprised that no one has come out with a hot swappable system like this before. At least I'm not aware of any. And I like their attention to detail. I've mentioned that several times. I like how you can get these add-ons for DC ports and AC port. You can get multiple batteries. And that with that hot swappable feature, you can run outputs continuously and keep swapping in and out batteries. Now the system comes with all different kinds of combination options, so make sure you check out the one that you're most interested in. And make sure to check the video description down below as I will keep it updated with any coupons or deals that I know about for this system.